There's two uh, guys watching our show. They uh, gave some money to charity, and uh, they're sitting in. What charity? I don't even know how. Wait a second. Hold on. Try that again. I don't even know the name of the charity. It's your chess teacher's wife's ah. cancer foundation. The Holly Heisman Memorial is what you gave the money to, and they tried. Right. I guess they're trying to cure cancer too. That's right. And if anyone can cure cancer, it's my chess teacher <laughs> because the guy's so smart. I talked to him on uh, over the internet. Oh yeah. I don't know if he's going to cure cancer. Are you guys chess players? Is that how this came yeah. about? No, he no. just he just uh, had the auction on eBay, and I was right. able to uh, to win it on eBay. Oh, cool. All right. Well, welcome. What's your names? Uh, my name is David. And I'm Stuart. Stuart. David and Stuart? Yes. yes. You guys boyfriends or yes. friends? No, no. Just friends. Just friends? I actually live in, in Japan, Howard. I live in Tokyo. Oh, no kidding. And, How's uh, that? It's, it's pretty awesome. It's yeah. pretty, you should come. You would love it. And you guys are uh, good buddies, and you decided yeah. to come down here. And uh, Are you big Pat Priest fans? That had to be a thrill <laughs> Well, for that's you. why we donated to the cancer for <laughs> Pat. For Pat. Well, that's very nice. I hear, is there any truth to that guy we had on who wrote the book that it's easy to get laid in Tokyo? Is yeah, it, I, I listened to that interview. That was a black guy, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, black guys, I think, I mean, any foreigner is going to do pretty well in, in Japan. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I got married. I mean, I married a Japanese woman that I met in New York, and then I wound up moving to Tokyo. So it's sort of too late for me. Oh, okay. But for other people, I mean. How do you make money in Tokyo? Uh, I, run a, I run a very nerdy video game website. Right. Uh, where we tell people where to buy cheap video games. Oh. Uh, but it really has nothing to do with... You can make money doing that? I can make money doing it. Yeah. I don't know about other people, but uh, I do I do pretty well. Your wife must be a big earner, I guess. <laughs> she, I, I, yeah, she does well, but I do what better. Does she do? I do, she's a lawyer. Uh -huh. I, I, do better than, I do better than she does. Though. So you sit home and play with your website, and she goes out and practices law. Bingo. And right. I play video games all day. Nice. You lazy bastard. It's a, it's a great gig, Howard. I, I can't complain. We are jealous. I'm What's jealous. the website? I'll give you a plug. Oh, thanks. It's CheapAssGamer.com. CheapAssGamer.com. Yes. All right. Well, real good. Well, welcome, guys. Enjoy watching the show. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, feel free to sit in for as long as you want. Thank you. And uh, You want half of my pancakes? <laughs> Could I? <laughs> you They're pretty hungry. Yeah. Sorry, I ate my sandwich. I'd give you that. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, there is Pat Priest from the Munsters. Very said, spry. You know. Kind of a sad story. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get into it all the way, but the girl who got us hooked up with Pat Priest, she was saying she'd gone through most of her retirement funds, so oh. that kind of bummed me out. So The like, cancer. I don't even care if like Julia Roberts calls in, we should just give it to Pat Priest. I was going to say, yeah, maybe she's the neediest of the celebrities. Yeah. All right, here's a trivia question. What's the guy's name with the blonde hair in the high school who is like the big meathead? Oh, maybe that's his name, Meathead. <laughs> uh, but who's the, the big, the big uh, wrestler I guy? I have no idea. What? Hold on a second. What? It's Moose. Moose, right? His girlfriend is Midge. Midge goes out Midge with Moose. And, Moose. and Reggie always tries to go out with Midge, but Reggie always gets beat up by Moose. And Reggie's the rich guy. Reggie's the yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, he's the douchebag. Yeah. Reggie's an asshole, but yeah. he's a rich uh, asshole. Uh, yeah, he's the rich uh, asshole. Right. Sounds like Stu's a fag. Well, movie oh. producer and writer <laughs> Michael learned about these things to talk to girls. Uh, you know, something to talk about. Uh, all right, yeah. Sure, that sure, gets sure. that gets a lot of great pussy. He's talking about Archie. <laughs> Time for the Whitney Houston comeback. Well, my prayers have been answered. Her long-awaited sixth studio album. Ooh. Drops today, <laughs> as they say Drops. in the business. Well, you're with it. <laughs> Man, you really are with it. Like I want you to go on Facebook and write down your birthday is 1962, because you're so with it. Era, last week, I dropped. <laughs> yeah, Whitney Houston, is this the song? I don't know if this is one of the new songs. Me here. Oh, my God. No wonder it took her so long. Absolutely horrible. It's not good. She learned how to make I hope music. That's not the new music. You can't hear your voice. What is that? It sounds like Casey and the Sunshine Band. <laughs> <laughs> they were good, dude. In 1975. Look, oh my god! You're not even on the show, and you're making fun of Casey and the Sunshine Band. We're personal friends of those guys. Yeah, dude. We know the bass player. Yeah, we love them. <laughs> it was. They're great. That sounds like that. Uh, uh, ask Stuart what he thinks of Boom Boom Boom. <laughs> yeah. uh, ask Stuart what, if he doesn't dance to shake your booty. Stuart, I'm trying to get out of here. You keep uh, with the commentary, I'm going to have a problem right. with you.